A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord, my God, in, in you, you I, I take, take refuge. refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but the, but the just sustain. O searcher of hearts and soul, O just God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O oh Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Praise to you, O Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, O Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and knew the harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, O Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory be, be to you, you O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see. 
that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have, on a number of occasions, had someone who come to me and say that, Father, I think I am under attack and I need your prayers. And often when the person says that, the person's intention is that whatever form the attack is taking will cease, it will stop because they can no longer bear it. They don't want to continue. But what if whatever attack you may be experiencing, what if it's sanctioned by God? What if God permits it? In our first reading of today, the prophet Jeremiah helps us to understand that he was also under attack. People were seeking his life. People were trying to destroy him. They were trying to kill him. But it was God's plan for him. It was God's wish for him. So even though Jeremiah would pray that God should deal with his attackers, it wouldn't stop. And he would suffer in various ways because God needed him to witness to his message even in the midst of the attacks that he was receiving. It only confirmed how wicked the people were and why they needed a prophet like Jeremiah to come and remind them of God's will. A similar thing happens in today's gospel reading where the scribes and Pharisees had despised spies or soldiers to go and have Jesus arrested, but they were confounded by his message and will come back and say, we've never seen anybody speak like him. And an argument will start. Nicodemus will respond. They will give it to Nicodemus. Keep quiet. All because they had an agenda, wanting to destroy Jesus Christ, wanting to eliminate him, because his mere presence caused them discomfort. Eventually, they will succeed because they will have Jesus Christ crucified. So my message or my question again is, what if the attack you are experiencing is sanctioned by God. What if it's permitted by God? I believe as Christians, we can always pray that God's will should be done, first of all. And if his will entails that we undergo attack, whether spiritual or physical, let us pray for strength. Because doing the will of God will be the best thing for us. Shall we rise and pray? Our response will be, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our priestly shepherds in the church, that they may be like Nicodemus, who defends Christ before his enemies with the power of truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in, in your mercy, mercy hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who are in danger of persecution because of their prophetic witness to the truth, that they may entrust themselves in their innocence to the salvation of the Lord who judges the hearts of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the sick, the unemployed, the poor, the imprisoned, and the addicted little ones who stand most in need of mercy, that God may be a saving shield before them, granting them light and grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our dear ones, who have departed the land of the living, that they may be quickly purified 
to enjoy the delights of eternal life in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us continue to pray for our personal intentions. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God our Father, hear the prayers of your children who have gathered before you this morning. Grant to us all that we ask for in faith, for we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 